Hey guys, this is Travis Shaw with the Jesse Norman School of the Arts, and this is our third installment of the Beginner Guitar Course. So, in today's video, what I want to do is I want to cover this thing called the major scale. A lot of times I think about it kind of like a ladder. Um, so, let me see if I can show you what I mean. But the first thing I want to do is just jump in and try to play this and get this sound kind of clear in our ears. So I'm gonna do this entirely on the high E string. Um, the high E string is like the easiest string to play on the guitar. And since we're all just starting out, it's a great place for us to be. So on the high E string, we just play it open. That's the first note. Then we find the second fret of the high E string. So that's one, two, and we play that note. Notice that I get my finger close to that fret, then I find the fourth fret on the high E string. So these three notes together, they sound like this, open. Okay, so the first thing for you guys to do is to just get to the point where you can do that and move smoothly or with some kind of confidence through those three notes. Then we're gonna add two more notes, okay? We're gonna add five and seven. So here's the fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five. And then the seventh fret, five, six, seven. So now I have open, two, four, five, and seven. It's almost starting to sound like a telephone number. All right, so spend a lot of time practicing just that. And I want you to go up and then back down like this. That's going up and then come back down. And stay on each note for a second. Let each note ring, right? One of the things that beginners often do is they go, Like as soon as they play the note, they let it go and they're done with it because it's hard to push the string down. But hold the note. Let the note be long and ring out. And don't be in a hurry to get from one note to the next. Now we'll add three more notes, the last three notes, nine, 11, and 12. So we got to seven, so then we just go seven, eight, nine. And once we're at nine, skip 10, go to 11, and then go to 12. So check it out. At this point, we've got a whole bunch of different uh, notes. And if I put them all together, they start to sound like this. And then I go back down in pitch. I would recommend that you just do this maybe 10 times and just get used to going up the scale and back down the scale and see if you can get this sound in your ear. One of the things we want to notice is why, why do we, what is a scale and why do we practice them? Why do we teach them? Why do we play them? Why do we learn them? Well, in music, a scale is kind of like a, um, a ladder that we go up and down and we can kind of find things in. So just for example, if I take this, this major scale, there's a lot of songs in here, a lot of melodies, things like,
they kind of act as like something that we build melodies on. And we build a lot more of the melodies, but melodies are a great place to start. So what I would do if I was you is get the sound of this in my ear, try to get used to going up and down this scale and getting comfortable with it, and then we'll talk about how we get some of these melodies that I just showed you in a few of the courses or in a few of the videos coming up soon. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon. If you've got any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at the Jesse Norman School, and we will see you very soon.